Hey everyone, it's Rek here and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to fix FPS drops and boost FPS in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 6. So the new Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 6 just dropped and with it, many people are having FPS drops, stutters and in general high input delay. This guide will be focusing on how to fix FPS drops, boost FPS and lower input delay in Fortnite Season 6. Before jumping into the video, 86.9% of you watching my videos are not even subscribed, so make sure that you press that subscribe button and join in with us on this journey to better gaming and with that let's get this video started so as i just mentioned with fortnite chapter 2 season 6 update as always people are experiencing fps drops and low performance overall hence in this guide i have included several tweaks to help you guys fix fps drops in fortnite in order to apply those you need to go ahead and download the fortnite season 6 tweak pack by reknetic then you need to go ahead and extract it you can use 7zip or winrar whichever one you want then go ahead and open it up. Inside of here, you guys will find several folders, but the very first thing that you want to do is go ahead and create a system restore point using this shortcut. This step is highly recommended, so make sure that you do this before proceeding forward. Once you have done that, go ahead and open up the registry tweaks and inside of here, the very first thing that we are going to be applying is the Fortnite normal priority. This is going to make sure that our Fortnite launcher is running on normal priority, which is going to help you guys fix FPS drops and also a lot of stutters. So all you need to do is double click on it, Hit yes, hit ok and that's it. Now moving on to registry tweaks.reg file, I'm gonna show you guys what it actually does. So inside of here, we are going to be disabling the power throttling feature which is actually integrated into the windows in order to save power. If you guys don't turn off this feature, it will cause FPS drops and also stutters. So we are going to be disabling it using this registry file. Then we are also going to be disabling the full screen optimizations globally by disabling the game DVR and the game bar settings. So close out of this, go ahead and double click on it, hit yes and hit ok. Now we have actually disabled the full screen optimizations globally, but it is always a good idea to make sure that the full screen optimizations are disabled on your game launcher as well. In order to do that, all you need to do is go ahead and open up this PC, then go to the drive where you guys have installed your Fortnite. So for me, it's C, Program Files, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite Game, Binaries, Win64, and inside of here, scroll down to the first Fortnite client Win64 chipping.exe file. It also has the largest file size, so just right click on it, click on Properties, go to the Compatibility tab, make sure that Disable Full Screen Optimizations is checked, change high dpi settings check it set it to application okay apply okay and now you can close out of this once that is done go to the mmcss folder and inside of here you guys will find the registry for disabling the multimedia class scheduler services so just go ahead and double click on it hit yes hit okay this is pretty much self-explanatory so i'm not gonna go into detail but if you want to revert it you can go ahead and use the enable mmcss registry file once done go back and this time go into the win32 priority folder inside of here you guys will find the most commonly used values ranging from 1a to 28 hex there are also some other values in the extras folder which if you go ahead and open them up also give the credit to the people where i found them from so yeah just a little tip there so go ahead and test out all of these values. The ones that usually work for most of the people better are the 28 hex, 26 hex and also the 14 hex. Now I know that a lot of people also use 16 hex and some also use one of these values but it all depends on testing. If you don't want to test, just use one of the 28 hex or 14 hex. For me personally, through testing, 14 hex works the best. So once you guys have decided which value you want to use, just go ahead and double click on it hit yes, hit ok and we have successfully applied the win32 priority. Then go back into the pack once again and this time go into the Reknetic power plan folder. So this is the custom power plan that I made in order to get you guys better FPS and also lower latency. All you guys need to do is just go ahead and right click on the Reknetic power plan dot pad, run it as administrator, press any key to continue and then it will successfully import the plan and also set it to active. Press any key to continue once again. Go into the power options and as you guys can see that it will automatically select it and that's basically it. Now you can close out of this and also I have seen that for some people this bad file might not work and that is basically due to the location of the folder where you place it. So the Fortnite season 6 tweak pack folder must be on your desktop for this bad file to work. Otherwise what you can do 
is go on to Google and search for power plan import CMD and use that. But now that we are done with importing my custom power plan, go back into the pack and this time go into the Nvidia inspector folder. This is only for Nvidia GPUs so people who are using Intel or AMD GPUs can skip to the next step. So once you are here just go ahead and right click on the inspector, run it as administrator. Once this opens up, click on this, go ahead and click on import profiles. Select the Rechnotic profile.nip, click on open, hit ok, apply changes and now you can close out of this. This is going to change some of the settings inside of the Nvidia control panel and some hidden settings as well which are basically tailored for better FPS and lower input delay in Fortnite. So you don't have to worry about changing anything. Once done with this, you can go back into the pack once more and this time go into the fourth folder that is batch tweaks. Inside of here you will find two batch files. For the first one, it is going to delete the Fortnite game folder inside of the app data and there are actually two methods of using this bad file. The first one is to just go ahead and right click on it, run it as administrator, press any key to continue and the Fortnite game folder will be successfully deleted. Now what you have to do is open up Fortnite, then go ahead and change your graphics settings, restart it if you use performance mode, then of course you would have to restart and then you would be good to go. This is going to tremendously help you guys with FPS drops because most of the times Fortnite does cause FPS drops due to an older config file so we are basically resetting that. The other method is to actually run this bad file at startup but if you do that and you use DX12 or maybe performance mode then you would have to go into Fortnite, change your rendering API, restart your game and then play it. I know it's a bit longer process but this is going to give you guys much better results every single time you boot up your PC. So in order to do that all you need to do is press the Windows key and the R key at the same time to open up run. Then you need to type in shell colon and then go ahead and type in startup. Hit ok and then all you guys need to do is just go ahead and copy this delete fortnite game folder dot path and paste it inside of this folder. Now every time you boot up your PC, this bat file is going to run and delete the Fortnite game folder from the app data. Moving on to the next bat file and that is the disable synthetic timers. This is going to make sure that when you use applications such as the timer resolution or ISLC, your current timer always sets to 0.5ms instead of 0.499 or 0.501. So just go ahead and right click on it, run it as administrator and that's basically it. This is going to make sure that you guys get the lowest input put delay while using any of the applications mentioned before. Once done with this, you can go back into the pack and go into the fifth folder that is tools. Inside of here, right click on the autoruns.exe, run it as administrator and don't touch anything inside of the everything tab. Go into the logon and uncheck anything that you are sure you won't be using on startup. So for example, for me, I don't want Google Chrome to start up when I log in. So I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck that. I'm also gonna go ahead and uncheck the free download manager, Epic Games Launcher, Discord and Adobe CCX process. These are all of the processes that I don't want to start up every time when I log on. So I have unchecked them. Once you are done with that, go into the schedule tasks and basically do the same thing. Uncheck anything that you don't want to start up. Just make sure that you don't uncheck anything that is related to your graphics card. So for me, I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck the Google and Mozilla update services, the notification center and the OneDrive stand alone. Even though I don't have OneDrive but for some reason it's there so I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck that. Then moving on you can also go into the services and uncheck anything that you don't want to start up but just make sure that you don't uncheck anything that you don't know about. So for me I'm gonna just go ahead and uncheck the Google Chrome elevation service and that's basically it. Once you are done with that, all you need to do is close out of this and we are done. Then moving on to the MSI Utility V3, I'm pretty sure that everyone knows how to use this but I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly run you guys through it. So right click on it, run it as administrator and then basically just go ahead and anything that says MSI under the supported modes, just go ahead and check the MSI box for that and hit apply. For most of the people, you always want to select your graphics card, your Ethernet controller, high definition audio. So those are the things that you want to go ahead and set to MSI mode but just make sure that it does say MSI under supported modes. As for the interrupt priority, a lot of people set it to high but I highly recommend you guys to set this to undefined. Most of the times high will not work as good as undefined so make sure that you set it to undefined. After that hit apply and close out of this. Then moving on right click on the unparkcpu.exe, run it as administrator and we are basically going to be unparking all of our CPU cores using this program. 
So once it loads up, just make sure that the Technetic Power Plan is selected and it is also activated. Then just go ahead and set this to 100% unparked. Unpark all, hit OK, apply, OK, and now you can close out of this. So once you are done with all of these, go back into the pack one more time and go into the 6 folder that is timers. Inside of here, you will find the ISLC and timer resolution. If you have 16 gigs of RAM or more, you always want to use ISLC. And if you have less than 16 gigs of RAM, you want to use timer resolution. First, I'm gonna show you guys how to use timer resolution. So all you need to do is go ahead and copy this onto your desktop, open it up, select maximum, minimize it, play your game and once you are done playing just go ahead and open it up once again set it to default and now you can close out of this just make sure that you don't close it while you are playing the game and only close it after you are done playing and if you want to use ISLC you need to basically do the same thing just go ahead and copy it paste it on your desktop open it up right click on the intelligence stand by listcleaner.exe run it as administrator it will actually open up in the tray so open it up from there if it's already running click on stop the list size is at least set this to 1024 and the free memory is lower than make sure to set it to half of your ram size so the total system memory is right here so set this roughly to half of that so for me i have 16 gigs of ram so i want to set it to 8 gigs that is 8192 megabytes after that make sure that start islc minimized is checked and launch islc on user login is checked as well then go ahead and check the enable custom timer resolution and set this value to 0 0.50 then go ahead and set the polling rate to 1000 ms click on start minimize it play your game and once again after you are done playing open it up click on stop and then you can close out of this so now that we have basically applied all of the tweaks inside of the pack let's move on to some windows settings so in order to do that open up the windows settings first up you want to go into the privacy and make sure that everything here is turned off in general speech engineering and typing diagnostic activity history location camera if, if you do use camera then go ahead and turn it on same thing for the microphone if you do use it turn it on otherwise turn it off and basically every single thing under it you always want to turn that off especially the background apps so just go ahead and make sure that all of them are turned off then go back to home and this time go into gaming make sure that the game bar is turned off game mode is turned on and then go into the graphics settings inside of here if you guys do have the hardware scheduling then go ahead and turn it on once done select the stop app click on browse and we are going to be browsing the directory for the fortnite once again so for me it's C, Program Files, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite Game, Binaries, Win64, select the first one, hit Add, Options, High Performance, Save and now you can go ahead and close out of this. So yeah those are basically all of the tweaks inside of this video. I really hope that this video helps you guys fix all of the FPS drops in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 6. So if this video does help you then make sure to go ahead and leave a like down below and share this video with any of your friends who you think might need it. Also guys once again as I just said 86.9% of you watching my videos are not even subscribed. So make sure that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button before you leave. And with all of that I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then stay awesome.